So I'm going to work through um, a, a problem on this packet here. This is called the discovery packet, just for you to get uh, familiar with IR before we get into um, other things. So um, this is uh, from some resource where it's given you, again, kind of the uh, different areas where you're going to see uh, bands. Uh, show up and again they, it's kind of nice over here it's the fingerprint and then this is more of the functional groups again just use your table I think it's far easier than using this so if you would go to the first problem um, what you're doing on each one of these is taking the formula so this is C5H12 uh, you're looking at the IR and then you're trying to do the degree of unsaturation range of what they call the functional peak or what's the most important peak here What's the functional group? And then can you draw it and write the name? So again, this is C5H12. So C5H12. So my degree of unsaturation is going to be 5 minus 12 over 2 plus 1. So that's going to give me a degree of unsaturation of 0. So obviously, I probably have some kind of alkane would be my guess. Um, so I'm going to look at the IR and see what I got. So for alkanes, um, the only peak that really I have to pay attention to is anywhere below 3,000. And so I have this peak here that is definitely below 3,000. So that's telling me I have a CH that is more of an SP3 carbon. Um, so I know that I have some kind of al um, alkane. So my important peak is 2850 to 3,000, or you could just say less than 3,000 um, would be fine as well. So if it's a C5H12, all I want you to do is to draw five carbons. And again, they all are single bonded, okay? I don't care if you name it because again, the good or bad of IR is it just gives you at least um, the functional group. It doesn't give you much of the structures. The name may not be correct in terms of how it is. So go through the next couple problems. I will come back on and kind of go through the rest of the answer key. So for number two, it is C4H8. A uh, degree of unsaturation is a one. Um, so looking at my um, IR here, I see that I have something past 3,000. Um, so anything that is past 3,000, I know I have to have some kind of double bond. Um, and way past, it will be a triple bond. So this is probably an alkene. Um, and again, all I want you to do is to draw a double bond somewhere in that structure. Number three is C5H8. Um, this has degree of saturation of two. Um, so I could see that because I have a peak way up, uh, up in the 3300 range. Um, so that's got to be an alkyne. Um, so draw some kind of triple bond in that structure somewhere in there with five carbons. Then for number four, um, C5H10 has a degree of unsaturation of 1. I got everything less than 3,000 here, so this is going to be the most important peak that I'm looking at. Um, but because of the fact that I have nothing beyond 3,000, it's got to tell me that in this structure, because of the fact that I have two less hydrogens, if it is not um, indicated that I have a double bond anywhere, then you could say you have a cyclo. And again, this might be a harder question at this point, just because I don't have any peaks to hold on to for cyclos, but you could do it by a process of elimination and the fact that you have nothing beyond 3000 um, to indicate that you have a double bond. Uh, number five is C7H14O, um, one degree of unsaturation. I got a peak in the 1700s, okay? So it's telling me I got a ketone or an aldehyde, but I really don't have enough information here. This is 19, 18, 17. Again, it might be on the uh, lower end of 17, so you might be looking at more of a ketone. Uh, but for something like this, um, I would give you more information on the graph here to kind of say what kind of peak it is, or maybe I have you keep it as a ketone or aldehyde and justify your answer, okay? Um, so just keep that in mind. And then the last one on the back was C7H14O2. Um, one degree of unsaturation. 
Um, this one, because I could have either an ester or a carboxylic acid, I would have to have a really big, broad peak here if it was a carboxylic acid. Instead, I have a peak down here, which is in the 1700s. So I'm guessing it's probably an ester. Um, so I have a C double bond OO, and then I have some carbons, depending upon, again, how many carbons um, you are given in this problem. There are seven in this problem. So again, um, pretty big missing peak here if it was a carboxylic acid. Again, because of the O2, that kind of tells you that it's um, an option. 